Honorable Leader of Opposition Business. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I'd like to stand and give my support for any relief, any form of support that would go towards the people of St. Lucia in the form of, I think, property tax for the three years stated there, 17, 2017, 2018, and 2019. For the years, Seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen, and therefore the government business need to consider that this year is included. And um, based on your contribution earlier on, you said that they need to pay taxes, so it is for this year. So, yes, Mr. President, certainly I'm and I'm sincere about it. I own a home. And when it comes for paying taxes and filing your returns, sometimes you, you struggle to, to, to meet the payments. And of course, property owners and household owners would be happy to, to get some grace in doing so. But when I listened to the member, the member for the, for, from the side, he said that every year, collection of about Five million dollars is made, so they're going to forego the collection of five million for the next three years. But he also did mention that they can realize greater revenue if they wider the pool of persons to pay property tax and to increase the efficiency of property of collecting um, taxes. Mr. President, I speak on this matter and I would ask any administration when we embark on property tax, as somebody who is involved in the property market as a valuer of properties, also seeing how people construct buildings, I've always been a bit concerned as to how fairly we can collect tax revenue on households, especially when there are some people, and of course he indicated that they need to go into the crevices of certain places where you could reach certain households. Mr. President, there are some people who own reinforced concrete structures, and of course my dear colleague on this side would agree with me that whereas you see that they own the structure, the means by which they construct the building doesn't suggest that they can pay taxes other persons can pay because of how culturally we build our homes and therefore there will always if this thing is not taken into consideration in a way that is socially responsible when we embark on putting the efficiencies in place and not considering everything into it, it, it um, um, that needs to be considered we could be hard on persons who may have homes but through sweat equity and other could make arrangements and just apply a taxation on them. So I, I, I was about to ask the question whether the objective of this is to prepare and to have a more efficient mechanism for property tax as against giving relief to property owners because as he indicated that is only approximately five million dollars annually that is currently being collected from property tax. So I support this. I think a number of um, homeowners would welcome the idea of having the relief for this year, next year, and the year 2020, 2018, 17, 18, 19. Of course, I welcome this. But I'll tell the minister, the, the, the government, um, the leader of government business. As the professionals speak with you on the issue of pro property tax, evaluate and consult the property professionals 
There is the organization of quantity and valuation surveyors. There are construction professionals. Well, <laughs> you're offering me a job. <laughs> no, no. I'm, ask, I'm saying that it's important that we do this consultation because I've had to value properties for relocation purposes, Mr. President. For example, when we did Rosodam, persons from Tetshime into Bele. And the assumption, it's easy to make an assumption that the fact that somebody have a concrete structure, that their well-being and their ability to pay for certain things is of a certain standard. And sometimes when the professionals leave to assess, persons are slashed based on one standard or one approach across the board, and sometimes it's unfair. So if your objective is not to just give relief, but to increase your efficiency so that in the future you collect more, not by raising taxes, you said, by, but by in putting more persons into the tax pool, you need to take certain things into consideration. And one, where a person's over threshold of $150,000 should ever pay tax, whether people live in, in a certain location, in a particular loca locality where we have a high incidence of indigence, should pay tax. Whether persons with plywood structures that is party timber pack should pay tax. So a lot should be considered so that when you are being efficient, you are also being socially responsible. But we support any initiative to give relief to the people of St. Lucia. Thank you.